Hi there. Today we're on logs to try a potentially interesting challenge. So some of you guys might remember it. about a year or so back I made a video on a mod that allowed you to set the degree of paragons to over 100. Or rather the formula was unlimited so I could set the degree to whatever I wanted. However, I never actually... I, I just tested with, you know, arbitrary high degrees. Not actually uh, truly getting uh, over degree 100 paragon in a real game. So I figured, hmm, why not do that as, like, a fun challenge? That's why we're jumping over on the easiest map of the game. So yes, by all intents, this will be a fairly epic late game run, so buckle in. The goal here will be two things. One, to try to survive as long as possible. And two, to get the highest degree Paragon possible. And I'm gonna pick the Ninja Monkey for this. Because personally, I think it's the easiest to survive super high rounds with. With the Grand Master plus 20 Shinobi stacks going hard to the paint. Fun fact, I think those, when max buffed, do go further than a big plane max buffed. Not only that, but Grand Sabo does work and allows you to get a very high amount of pops just by having it exist on the late game. So thing is, I might be here for a very, very, very long while if my full intent was to go hard on point one, which again would survive as long as possible because, uh, I mean, I think I'll, I think I'll save a truly, truly D3 pre-run for another time. Because that would be how you get the most pops of ninja. Just get ninja and literally every single damage tower. But of course, that would like the game and it would take five hours to progress one round. So I think what I'll say is so long as my ninjas can survive as the main DPS, the run shall continue or until, I don't know, round 300 or something like that. I guess we'll find it much later when we're in late game and nearing that point. But for now, yeah, what do you think the highest degree of Paragon we can possibly get is? I think to get a good guesstimate, you first have to know what formula they use to calculate the Paragon degree, and I'll show you on the screen right now. This is the formula, 50x cubed plus 5055x squared plus 168,234x plus 843,000 divided by 600. I know, lots taken, but even just doing a little bit of bare bones analysis, uh, realize that getting a degree of 1000 uh, Sounds practically impossible, especially with the cubic cubic function there. So basically, when this mod lifts the limits for the degrees, uh, it lifts the max requirement. So the pops can be unlimited for a degree 100, if you guys know it. You need 16.2 million pops on all the ninjas. Uh, and it's not just a simple X10 to get a degree 1,000 Paragon, aka 162 million pops. In fact, if you want to get into the really nitty-gritty here, then I actually entered this formula into an online calculator. Just to show you how much power we need to, like, achieve that degree. So, for example, over here, as x equals 100, we need 200,000 power. It's actually a little bit lower based on the formula, but Ninja Kiwi hard codes it, or they round it up to 200,000 for max. But now let's say, for example, I want to double that degree, degree 200. How much power do I need? Well, based on this, looks like 3 million over 3, so a little over 1 million power. 5x the amount that you need from to 300, which actually is not also a trans a direct translation of 16.2 million pops times 5, because of that 200k max power for a degree 100, only 90k is allocated towards the, like, pop counts. If we're talking about getting other tier 5s, it's not possible. I, I'm not going to include a mod for infinite tier 5s in this one. But if we're talking about the money spent and tiers of, like, tier 4 ninja monkeys and beyond, yes, they do apply the formula to be unlimited there but there's a cap to it and obviously it, it's a very low amount of power so 99% of the power we're gonna get is from pops okay I might be getting a little carried away from the actual point I was trying to bring across so uh, let's start with this then for every 180 pops on a tower you get one power so now if we go back to our handy dandy formula here and just multiply the entire equation by 180 then that should basically tell us the amount of pops that we need so, 190 million. Now let's go up to 300, and we need 556 million. Okay, now things are starting to get a little bit crazy. How about degree 500? 2.2 billion? I'm not sure what round you need to get that many pops on, but... Yeah, that might be a bit of a high limit. How about 1,000? Proof that it might be impossible to get? Um, I think that's 16 billion. Yep. We might literally need to make it to around 1,000 to get... Well, degree a thousand, which is not gonna happen, since the highest round uh, legitimately, even in logs easy, is not even close to that. 
So finally, with all those numbers and math out of the way, let's actually start to build our late game, late game defense. I might have scared away a lot of people who hate math. Sorry. Frankly, I love math though. Anyways, let's go for... I don't think... I think to start, I don't want to go for like a max ventral temple because that would take too many pops away from my precious ninja monkey. So start just a 0002 TSG. I did say I wanted Ninja as majority of the damage, so maybe we'll just end up keeping it. Here we go, though. There's the max. We'll give it some range uh, and uh, village. Now, thanks to this change they made not too long ago, you actually want to go with uh, some of your ninjas to range, which is now uh, change to Seek and Shuriken. Just because you want to make cross pathing like, useful. Also, one thing I also should be doing is that I shouldn't just be going for one Grandmaster Ninja. 20x Shinobiing, like... Balloon Jitsus are almost just as great. In fact, I swear that in one of the least cash bosses I've seen before, one of the top placements was like not even going for Grandmaster because the Balloon Jitsus were more efficient. Now, we're talking about price efficiency efficiency there, but still, the fact that I can forego Grandmaster and still get similar same DPS from the rest should be an indicator. That's just me, though. I also didn't say no powers allowed, so don't mind me if I just do an Energizer over here. I will tech bot too, and um, uh, yeah, j j just tech bot, all right? That that's it. So there it is, officially 20 stacks on the Grandmaster. Uh, I'll get the uh, Master Bomber down over here. Might have been a bad idea to drop it because cow drops. I would say this really on is unnecessary. That's why I didn't even operate any of these cow drops yet, in favor of a lag. But as you can see, even uh, in such an early round here. Just having this many Shinobis in general is not conductive to a very smooth gameplay experience. Let's do a quick update here. So we already have, we passed the 16.2 million threshold. Let me just show you that if I got a Ninja Bear on right now, that we have passed the single player max, 87. I gotta make sure not to actually end the round off. So proof right there that the formula is working as intended. Also, it is only round 145. Why is it lagging so much? I don't like this at all. A couple things we can do to reduce leg, I guess, is for one, move the uh, Master Bomber out of the way so that the uh, Cow Drops don't cause any more lag. Maybe reduce the amount of Shinobi stacks that I have here. It's still pretty bad, actually. I, I think it's inevitable because uh, of the fact that the Grandmaster uh, inherently is supposed to attack this much. There's nothing I can, I can go about it. And no, this is a common misconception that reducing your projectile size will make your game faster. That's been tried and tested and failed many times, at least every time I've tried it. You know what, let me do a for fun test with the Perm Brew here. I'm gonna sell it off and see. Hmm, you know what? I think it was the Perm Brew. FPS seems to go in much smoother. I don't know if I had to do with the fact that every single tower that it was fighting was being bubbled or something. I swear that usually doesn't add to lag, but hey, if we can get away without it right now, then sure. Even Home Nine doesn't, like, make it Anywhere near as bad. And around 167 here, I think is a good time for an update. Leg is starting to get worse now, so maybe Perm Brew eventually, but turning off Auto Star just to, so I don't have to panic. With 48 million pops on the main Grandmaster, probably like 55 total on the rest, uh, we have a degree 137. Decent, but still a ways to go. I think the next test I'll do with this will be on round 200, so uh, based on what I saw in the calculator earlier, we're pretty close to the amount. Of pops that we need for a degree 100, although a little bit short. Let's see though. Activates and uh, oh wait, we actually passed it. I guess the pops on all the other ninjas added up a lot. That that makes sense. Now round 200 is actually a good round to play out because I can just back out after being in the first half bad. See how quickly you know a degree 222 ninja will do. Is it just me or is, is that underwhelming? <laughs> Only like 30k per what do you call it? Flash bomb slash sticky explosion. I don't know. I guess if you're prepared to a degree 100, yes, it's gonna pop way faster. Pretty sure a degree 100 pop, like, well, in double that amount of length. Okay, that's enough. We've seen. Also, while I was already in the process of adding uh, an infinite degree mod, I completely forgot that I could add the sacrifice helper. Thanks, Doom Bubbles, for this one. Basically, this shows the amount of power that you're getting from all your current categories. And because it's uncapped, you can see we've blown past the 90k the pops with 1.4 well 2 million only 5,000 in the cash so I can improve on that requirement and uh, I think the 16.7k is for the uh, amount of uh, tiers that you put in your tier 
five towers or less. Let me just upgrade. Yep, it went up by uh, about 700 or so. 600. Also, if you look carefully, you can see that the uh, power amount increases in real time here. Yep, it just went up like 2,000 right there in the blink of an eye. Of an eye. Pretty cool. Also, just seeing this sacrifice self just reminded me that I'm a complete idiot. And I forgot to do Geraldo. Because, yes, I'm getting zero power on power from Geraldo totems, which... I think each totem gives you 2,000 power, right? Okay. Let's just do some quick math. If I made it to, like, round 300, for example. And I got Geraldo one round 50. 250 rounds of, um, 2,000 power. That's actually only 5k power. So, it sounds like I made a blunder, but, um, trust me. I, I think it's fine. Azili will allow me to survive a little bit further. Even at, like, the expense of bad damage. But once again, all is fine. Because by the time Geraldo will get 500k power, like in the ninja, pretty sure this pop count amount is going to be like up to 10 million power. I let my game run for a little bit, and here's a round 234 update. It looks like we doubled the amount of power that we got, 3.4 million now. Is that enough to make to degree 300? Let's see. Upgrade? Nice, 311. Yeah, let me just cautiously play out the next round just to see how well this thing is doing. Not a fortified pad, but it looks good to me. And now back to our leggy reality. I did add pro at this point, because we kind of need it. Unfortunately, each round is probably going to take like minutes now. You know, low-key, I think I could have done was maybe use Quantum Entanglement so that I can keep the Ninja Paragon, and then just upgrade the Link Tower so that the uh, bug makes it so that the Paragon degree updates, but nah. We're a little bit in too deep at this point, so uh, see you in another couple dozen rounds or so. Listen, I already knew the leg was going to be bad, but I think what I didn't realize was how long the rounds would be taking, especially since I don't have any one-shots, because I don't want to use them, like BMA or Bait Trap, and of course Hex, so not only are these rounds moving at like 3 FPS, but I also have to let them drag out really, really, really long so my ninjas can slowly get their pops on them. This is currently really, really fast-forwarded. Just, you know, any way to improve the viewing quality somewhat. If you take a look, we are currently at 12 million power. Almost 800k million on the Ninja Monkey. Definitely over 200 million combined. I don't know how much more defense I want to build because uh, I think at this rate, it's taking about 1 hour for 10 rounds. Just to put things into perspective, it, has, it is actually getting pretty far. So once again, I do think round 300 would be a nice limit. Let's just end off this round though. And just take a quick sneak peek. So here we go. We can even pause to check the pop counts. Look at this. 140 plus million on each individual Bloom Jitsu. That's why it's so important to add uh, secondary uh, towers. So here we go. Ascended Shadow. Do it make it to the big 500 at least. Oh my god. So close. 491. Well, 14 rounds to get our degree up by 9. I think that's almost certainly possible. And let me just do a quick social experiment here. Do the... Does the single solo ninja outperform the big stack of ninjas? It's actually pretty equal. Popped at about the same time. That's about as balanced as things could be. What's kind of funny there is that with the Paragon, the round fell it lasted so short. Because there are only three bats, but meanwhile, with this ninja army, it's looking like each round takes an eternity. And now, long last, we finally made it to round 300, with almost a billion pops on our Grandmaster. I plugged in the math on our total damage on all the ninjas is actually very, very close to 3 billion. Just to give you some perspective of how much 3 billion pops will get you in terms of degrees, so no time to waste. Let's finally get the final Paracon that I will not replace. 546. And now let's unlink everything. Sell the uh, Legend of the Night 2. And let's see how far we make it. Actually, before then, I just realized this placement's kind of subpar. Where the Master Bomber, obviously, is a much better spot. So, uh, let's do this place. Let's get it. Wasn't shown here, but round 300, or the rounds prior to 300, were pretty close to uh, what you lost on, like, 286 or something like that. Gameplay is as smooth as butter. Unfortunately, I think uh, if it can't be this round... Which actually isn't going to be. Wow. What if I hex? <laughs> nope, didn't work. Damn, dead on the very first round. Without, like, intervention from hero abilities. Well, that is a bit of a shame. I I, I will give it some help then. Azili, please. If you will. I mean, the DPS is not as good as I thought. Only 100, 200,000 DPS. I also only used one hex this round, and wow, that's, that's a sizable difference. 
didn't realize one hex was that OP, but okay. Round three of once you got hands, but again, hex coming to save the day. Anyways, if I had to estimate, I probably left the game on for at least six hours just to get this point, and it would need to be tenfold of that if, again, I want to truly see how far it could survive. Uh, would be more bearable if the game, of course, ran like this instead of uh, what you saw two minutes ago. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more wacky challenges and stuff like this.